Hello everyone and welcome to the Kyle Davis vlog number four. Where we left off last time was the summer of 2003 and by this time PCW Uncut was just getting underway and one of the uh, one of the first significant uh, member members of PCW Uncut was someone that I mentioned last time and that would be Claudia and I've known Claudia since 2003 and uh, the story of meeting her uh, from the beginning was uh, it was it was a, a rib pulled on me that I fell for very badly and it was really embarrassing and uh, I'll never forget it because of how bad I looked um, her uh, her her husband at the time uh, Marvin Melvin uh, Jonah, Will, uh, would, whatever you want to call him, he was having a match and she was at ringside taking pictures. Uh, she was kneeled down uh, but in front of the first row behind the guardrail taking pictures and uh, apparently security, they, they all knew who she was and I, but I had never seen her before and what's funny is I generally did not fall for stuff that they would do or, or tell me or whatever but I just I didn't think anything of this one so they tell me to go uh, go retrieve that fan from from ringside. Uh, tell her to sit down. Tell her she has to be in a seat. And uh, little did I know that while I'm up here doing this, they're back there you know, laughing insanely. I, they I guess they knew that I had no idea who she was. So anyway, I go to to uh, I go to the to to where she was kneeling, and uh, I was like, uh, "Excuse me, ma'am. I'm going to need you to find your seat, please." And she looks at me like I have three heads, and uh, and she's like, "What the hell are you talking about? I'm I'm taking pictures. You know, this is my husband. I'm a wrestler." <laughs> I just I, I laughed at her, and I, I was like, "Yeah, sure. You know, sure you are. You know, so am I." <laughs> and and I just look like such an ass. I'm not sure how that turned out, but uh, when I found out that she was a wrestler and all that, that uh, I felt very foolish. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You should have been in your seat. I don't care if you're a wrestler or not. It's for your safety. And so, uh, she was very significant in the first ever uh, uncut show. Which, by the way, I was not at. I did not attend the very first two or three uncut shows. They were free on a Friday night uh, with a bunch of wrestlers that I didn't know who they were. I, you know, they were from the school or from different little other indie shows that I had never heard of or been to. So the first couple I really didn't I really didn't care to go to. Um, I remember Newman who was uh, he was on 10 uh, 10 whatever the Eagle was, 1053 was that the 971 971 the Eagle. Uh, he was uh, he was on there. He was a really nice guy. And uh, he had a match with Gabe Roach. Uh, Gabe was on the show sometimes. He was a trainer at the time at, at the uh, at PCW. Uh, DeMarco was on some of the early uncut shows. Uh, after these guys were already on Full Throttle. And uh, the, the, this is where I met a, a bunch of, of guys that I, I would go on to, to, to know for a very long time. Um, guys like Goo, who was the very... Uh, he was he was the very first person who let me on the show, uh, you know, to have a microphone in my hand, just as a tryout, and uh, so if it weren't for him, along with uh, Demarco and other guys, then I I definitely wouldn't have gone anywhere. Uh, I met guys like Brandon Collins, uh, Noby Bryant, Tahano Kid, uh, Big Chris, who now wrestles as Russian Destroyer. Uh, and of course, of course, guys like Wally and Lamada, who were just starting out brand new. Although Lamada did train at NWA Southwest, and I talked to him. I talked to Lamada online before I ever got into wrestling. I was probably still in junior high school. I I saw his AOL profile. That's right, AOL profile. His name was Carlos Lur uh, Carlos Ruiz, and he uh, and uh, he said he was a pro wrestler at NWA Southwest, so I, I ended up talking to him. And this was like 2001, 2002, and uh, we found out later on that, that that's who that was. So I was just that was funny. Um, and then very obscure, an obscure name that 
a lot of people won't recognize, except for the old schoolers, that was Scotty Kuzma, who is infamous for getting in the fight with DeMarco backstage, which I did not see. I was one of the only ones who didn't see it, because I was uh, ring announcing at the time. But apparently, Scotty Kuzma and DeMarco uh, had it out in the back, which was hilarious to me. Um, he was nice to me, but I don't really know where he came from or where he went. He was very, very random. Uh, and not very good in the ring. He 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 was not good. I he he could have had a look. He he looked he looked different, but it, he wasn't very good looking back. Uh, I remember the uh, forty-five minute match he had with um, Oscar Herrera on an uncut big show. And they went so long, like forty-five minutes, and then the match following that was Noby Bryant and Marvin in a two out of three falls match that went like ten minutes. Uh, that was that was bad. That was really bad. Um, and then of course Claudia was on there. Uh, Ricky Jackson, uh, Symmetrico, Symmetrico, one of the nicest guys I ever met in wrestling. Uh, I haven't seen him in uh, five years probably. He was really nice. Uh, the Tribe, which was uh, Paul Lewis, Khan, Richter. Uh, Seth Shai, Pendragon, even James Johnson for a little while, but uh, James wouldn't come around for another year, about another year or so. Um, that's This is when we had the heel section. Uh, Code and Trey Man and uh, Frankie Fisher started out as a fan, going to uncut, cheering the faces, or cheering the heels, booing the faces, so Frankie Fisher... I almost forgot. Caused a lot of trouble back then. Um, there was the uh, awfulness of the uh, Red Rover match. Apparently, from what I remember, you uh, it was two two big teams, and I think when you lost, you joined the other team. And yeah, a Red Rover match. Think of like the rules of Red Rover and apply it to wrestling. Uh, don't get any ideas out there because I don't remember it being very good. It was so bad, in fact, that uh. Me and another guy actually went to the Six Flags Mall to meet up with a few, a uh, couple of girls. And I don't think it went well or, or something. Just it wasn't interesting to us or whatever. So we ended up going back before the show was over. So that's how long that match was. And Uncut, I think, is where I really started going uh, to go backstage because it was lower guys who they were just starting out too. So it was comforting for me because I didn't want to be in the back with. Uh, with guys like Jared Steele and Lance Hoyt and Mike Fox and uh, Instant Heat, uh, Action Jackson, uh, all those guys. But I was more comfortable being in the back with, with younger guys and then with bigger guys sprinkled in. It, that didn't bother me. I, w I was far more comfortable. Uh, and around that time, 2003, we, were, uh, we had Sabu pretty often. Um, and I'll... I, I'll go ahead and tell this story now really quickly. I, I met Sabu. Um, the first time I talked to Sabu was Heroes of Legends 2003, and I got a, uh, a, ta a piece of a table signed by him. It was a like a, a triangle piece of a table. That night he faced uh, DeMarco, and uh, the table was actually from the Lance Hoyt-Mike Fox match, but no one ever knew that. So uh, I wanted to get Sabu's autograph on something unique, so I went down to the pit area, uh, everybody knows the pit area at PCW Arena, and uh, I got a piece of a table, a broken table, and it was a perfect triangle, and I took it to the back and got Sabu to sign the back of it, and uh, he was quiet, I, he, he was nice or whatever, he, you know, I was asking him for an autograph and nothing more, so he he was okay, and I still have that piece, I'll show it next time, if, if no one's ever seen it, I still have it displayed proudly. Um... So that was uh, that was Heroes to Legends 2003, uh, and that's really it for this blog uh, vlog. The next one, uh, I'll start covering my uh, going away from event staff and into pr the production area, and uh, eventually having total luck and getting one shot to announce on PCW Uncut. I wonder how that ended. Thank you very much for watching. See you then.